Uh, thank, thank you again for being my, my sensei. Yeah, of course. I mean, don't thank me yet. I might, you know, you might lose. No. And then you're going to look at me and you're going to be like, dang, you chose this guy? Well, I, I just, look, I'll be honest. Like we were talking earlier. Uh, I just, I don't want Z to win. You do have some experience with Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Yes, yes. I have, I, I, I've got good experience though. Like in terms of, I understand linking. I understand the uh, synchro summoning. I understand the, the XYZ summoning. Right. Um, Z refuses to adapt to the current climate I was of trying, I mentioned this before to you. Dino is the same way. Every time I talk to Dino about Duel Links, he has, it's blue eyes and then some other cards. It's just, he will not get out of this blue eyes mode so i think they're a perfect team because they're both just like no i like this and i'm gonna play this so they, oh, they can do that they're in trouble then they're, they're, they're gonna get absolutely crushed but we're gonna have a variety of things and uh the first tool i want to give you is actually gonna be an anti-dragon deck because of that so right now okay. Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links there's a lot of uh dragon decks that are being played um yeah but i'm gonna show you that it's not too hard to build a deck to counter whatever that meta may be at the time. And right now, Blue Eyes White Dragon is popular and for good reason. I mean, who doesn't love Blue Eyes? Let's, let's build something to counter that first. Now, my okay. only question, uh, for those that have played Yu-Gi-Oh! years ago uh, with the standard 40 to 60 card deck uh, and huh. the five monsters, five spells and traps, what does is, what is Duel Links do different? Just from my own knowledge, because uh, it, it is speed dueling, right? Yeah. One of the biggest differences is you'll notice when you're building your deck, okay. you'll see above all of your cards, there's like this little uh, yellow star. It looks like the stars that are on top of your cards and stuff. That's going to be all of your skills. So every character has like different skills that are kind of like unique to the anime or what they've done in the anime. So like Kaiba, for example, has a bunch of skills, you know, blue eyes related. So he has one where he can automatically get polymerization into his hand if he has two okay. blue eyes in his hands or automatically summon an alternative uh blue eyes white dragon if you have a blue eyes on on the field so the most iconic this is still the coolest one like it's one where if your opponent does it you're like oh man i'm i'm about to go through it but when yami yugi says part of the cards guide me like if you're in the anime and i'm dueling yugi i know i'm about yeah. to lose if he says that i'm like well oh, he sure, calls the heart yeah. of the cards he has that in the game and you're saying he picks out any card from his deck yes yes so if you lose two thousand or more life points on yami yugi destiny draw allows you to just you know that's considered like a clutch moment so like oh man i lost okay. half my life points time to pick whatever card that i need so speaking of which I think that's the character I want you to start out with because you know it's, okay, it's, yeah, it's Yami Yugi. So let's get an empty deck, a uh, little empty deck slot for you. And right, guide uh, me let's like I'm we, an idiot. Yeah, yeah, oh, like you're an idiot. Okay, all right. So one of the ones that okay. have the uh, the exclamation mark on it should be an empty okay. slot. Oh, cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, all man. right. So now navigating through the cards is actually pretty easy. On the far right side, at the top, there's like a little down arrow under card inventory. Yep. Okay. And then if you click okay. text search, then you can just search oh, we're for- we're going straight in, all right. Yeah, you can just search for specific uh, cards. There's also a lot of like filters and stuff that you can use to, you know, dwindle it down if you're looking for specific things. Uh, but under text search, I want you, okay. we got to start out with the iconic Dragon Slayer Buster Blader. Oh, here we go. There all we right. go. There now we're, we go. Now we're cooking all with right. gas. All right, so Buck first, I need okay. you to add three Buster Bladers into your deck. Now, straight up, it's the old you, school Buster Bladers, okay? Yeah, exactly, just the old school Buster Blader. Next, we're going to add, I like to call this, it's hot. Karibo 2.0. I need you to look up Kiteroid, add two of them. Oh, look at this little guy. Okay. So if you just uh, right click both, yep. You might notice something, this is just a little fun fact, just in case anyone's new to Duel Links and doesn't know what it is. Uh, yeah. You'll see on the top right of Kiteroid, there's that little two with the red circle around it. That means this guy is limited to two per deck. So he's on the limited okay. slash banned list. And that's because he's really good. So that's why we're adding him hmm. to our decks. He's a hand trap and I don't know. Okay. You know what got, a hand trap is, turn. okay. Yep. So yep. somebody attacks you. I blossom a little bit, yeah. Kiteroid, if it's a direct attack, you can throw it to your graveyard and then you neutralize all damage. And the beauty of that is you might just be like, okay, then why wouldn't I just play Karibo? Karibo's cuter than Kiteroid. Because oh, yeah. if you get attacked again, you can banish that same Kiteroid from your graveyard to give you another uh, damage neutralizing okay, effect. So One positive Karibo does have over Kiteroid is Karibo works for non-direct attacks. So like if I have a monster with 200 attack out and he's about to get attacked, Kiteroid won't protect you from that, but he only protects you from direct attacks. But in okay. this deck, you will oh, be dealing right. with some direct attacks. So that's why it's important. Next, okay. we yeah. need some Buster Blader support. I need you to look up Buster and then space 
W H E L P. Buster Whelp. Add three of what? these cute little dragons to your deck. Oh, oh, that's got a lot of utility. Yeah, okay, it, cool. it has a lot of utility. And I'm going to show you another cool thing. All yeah. you're going to do is click related cards on that Buster Whelp. So right under the card itself on the left side, related cards. Oh, so this okay, is going to give you all cards that this card is directly related to. There's going to be a fusion card called Destruction Swordsman Fusion. And you'll notice yeah. it's a quick play spell. Oh, okay. Is this just going to be the way to get out this, the, uh, the this, big buster blitter? Yes. This is this is our key to our, our boss monster of the deck. So add three okay. of those to your deck. Emblem of Dragon Destroyer. Or you could just write emblem and uh, it should come up. Okay. All right. Three oh, of those. Oh, is this, an, is this an old card? It is actually pretty classic. It's pretty classic, but it still okay. works for this deck because we, we need that buster blader in our in our deck before we jump into those niche things uh let's get our extra deck set up and okay. uh we really only need three car three main cards uh but we'll get it set up with a little more but let's start with the main ones if you look up buster just write the word buster okay now is this something that you were crafting or are you following um kind of like what uh, this one there, there's variations of this uh deck okay. out there because a lot of people want to just you know slay the dragons um no i mean the dragons are big and they hit hard exactly exactly so you want to you want to protect yourselves against them so this is like my yeah. own iteration but you'll see a lot of other variations the beauty of duel links is you can create your own deck to be whatever you want like whatever you think is cool um you can kind of build your deck around that and if you want to modify something in the future this is just giving you a starting basis on kind of okay. like how i run it you already searched yeah. up buster right under card inventory there's like a monster spells traps extra deck yeah. this is th those are just filters so if you click okay. extra deck, then you're just filtered for just your extra deck. So these are just ways to kind of navigate through this whole card inventory. Oh, cool. Okay. You already added three of those boss monsters. Perfect. Now we're going to add three synchros. All right. And if you're oh, new, okay. new to synchro summoning, uh, which I yeah, was, yeah. Duel Links introduced me to synchro summoning because I was kind of like, again, reintroducing myself to Yu-Gi-Oh, played a little Duel Links. And then all of a sudden they're like, hey, you can synchro summon. I'm like, ah, so these are the cards it that had the white backgrounds that I didn't understand. Okay. But now yeah, and it's easy. Now it's like I couldn't imagine playing without them if I'm completely honest. I felt the same Synchros way. Synchros and XC summons, like they're just I know. they're just a part of the game now, and they're they're actually really cool. I I actually really like where the meta's at with the evolution of Duel Links in comparison I, to the TCG and stuff. Now I was so like I was so hard to change against, like you know, because it's your childhood. And you don't want to go against your childhood when it's kind of like this is what I did when I was 15. Right. This has to be right. It's like right. finding out Santa isn't real when they start adding new things. Exactly. Um, when I found out that I couldn't just play Battle Ox in attack position and end my turn anymore, I was just like, exactly. What do you mean I have to think about other stuff? But then once I started yeah. thinking about those other things, I was like, Wow, this this is actually a lot of fun. Um, but speaking yeah. of which. Let's get some synchro monsters. And one of the most okay. important ones that I think is going to be for this deck is going to be Vermilion Dragon Mech. It's pretty cool. You banish one tuner from your graveyard or hand, and uh, you can destroy any card on the field. So it's good for getting rid of back row if somebody has like a face down trap, uh, okay. or if they have a big monster that you otherwise couldn't attack over. Uh, okay. You have you have something to deal with that. I didn't even realize the the whelps were uh, were tuner cards. Yeah, they're uh, tuners. Yeah, that's that's okay. you'll you'll see. Otherwise, yeah, there'd be no. Okay. That level one will go with uh, your fusion card be because he's level eight. So if you don't know how synchros uh, okay. work, it's literally just basic math. So you add up whatever your tuner monster's level is plus whatever your non-tuner monster is, and then you can summon whatever the whatever that number is. You can summon that synchro monster. One of the most important cards in this deck, actually, is DNA Surgery. Ah, uh, my chat was chanting it. DNA they were chanting Surgery. It. This is such an old... This card always freaked me out as a kid. It's amazing how a card from, like, 16 years ago Holds comes up. back into decks now. Yeah, That's the beauty Ooh. of just Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, but Duel Links, because, obviously, that for me, that's the most accessible way to just, like, you know, duel whenever I want to duel. Because, obviously, yeah. right now, I can't just, like, go to my next-door neighbor, hey, do you want to duel? Mm -hmm. These speed duel formats is perfect because, like, again, you could just quickly, while you're on the go, just duel somebody but yeah. add those dnas the reason why they're super important i mean it goes without saying but if you run yeah. into somebody who's not playing dragons now they're playing dragons they because you have dragons exactly now they have no choice but to play dragons with dna surgery one more important thing okay. that's skill what? right under the word deck at the top where it says oh, okay. skill not set skill not set yeah, yeah. so click that oh, and then so you'll see all your skill. skills okay. go ahead okay. and equip destiny draw so you can really become the uh oh i get Yami to be Yami? of the U oh yes God. of the universe so what Corruption. i'm gonna do i want you to run that deck i'm okay. going to run a red eyes deck because it's a dragon deck okay. and uh we can kind of see what buster blader is made of against dragons okay. 
Oh, you got a cool logo. Yeah, oh, that, that, that's the, uh, <clears throat> I don't want to boast, but that's the King of Games logo. You have to work is really hard Is it the King of Games logo? It actually is. So uh, there's ranked duels in, um, in Duel Links, obviously. And the way it works is like you win a certain amount of duels, you go to the next rank, blah, blah, blah. And each rank has a title. So you're rookie rank one. That's what I see here. So there's rookie rank, yes. uh, silver. Let's see if I'm Don't remembering. No, I rookie, cool bronze, yeah. silver, gold, platinum, legend, and then king of games. This is why when they when they when they're like, all right, we need some professionals. <laughs> Let's take our king of games list. <laughs> you popped up. <laughs> right. All right. So you're going first. Dude, I like the music. Yeah, the music. Every character has their own theme song. So if you're dueling me and I'm playing as Pegasus. It'll be something completely different if I'm playing mm, as Kaiba, it's different. The, and in I intense think, moments, it changes too. Like, it, it, it's actually pretty cool. So I would, all right, I'm looking at your hand. I would play that because you need that yeah. Buster Blader in your hand. So go ahead and exactly. play that. Okay. So go ahead and yeah. grab Buster Blader, add him to your hand. Which one do you feel like would be beneficial in this situation? Mm, I'm thinking I'm thinking that middle one. The middle one has a middle look one. in his eye. I agree. Uh -huh. he's, got, he's got victory written. I would set the trap okay. card. And then I would also, I would play the other spell card as well, because then you're milling out your deck. Your deck is getting thinner and you're more likely to draw the cards that you need. So go ahead and add another Buster Blader to I, your hand. I agree. Otherwise, what if I happen to draw a Buster Blader? You know, yeah. I could, it could have been a better card. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So now you're okay. less likely to draw like those brick cards and stuff like that. And you're more Don't likely. The and then you keep that Kite Roid in your hand because that's going to defend, you know, that's going to defend you yeah. against if I attack you directly. So right now, that's pretty much all you can do for that turn. So go ahead and end your turn. Let's say like right here, when I click on a card, just so I'm familiar with the UI. Uh -huh. um, if I want to bring this card back to my hand, I just click on a different card. So it's yeah. just, it's, yeah. this is just me Click cycling. on a different okay, card so you can bring it up. Um, got it. And then on the left side, you get all the information. I end my turn in defense mode. Everyone in my chat's like, OTK, man, finish him off. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm already training get OTK. him. I'm teaching oh him. That, that, that's not the goal here, right? We're trying to get him ready, um, you know, to take on He's the true opponent dead. down <laughs> down the road, okay? All right, so He's I'm going to start dead. with this guy. What are we getting out there? All right, and I'm going to play you as if... I don't know Ooh. that that's a DNA surgery face down, okay? Would you would you want me to activate that immediately to show our hand? Or, I mean, once we play the Buster Blade, he knows DNA surgery is coming. He knows it's coming, but he doesn't know that that's DNA surgery specifically because you do have other spell cards and stuff like that. So I don't that's know true. what that is. It could be a Book of Moon. It could be Forbidden Lance. It could be a lot of things. So, uh, so what happens whenever I summon or make any action, you're going to get pop-ups on whether or not you want to activate your cards if they're activatable okay uh if you don't want to activate it you would just click that bottom left arrow okay so go ahead and no thank you click that uh, well like you're for unfortunately if you equip him i'm gonna lose dna surgery but yep. yes yep that is true that is true so yep. that begs the question what is my face down card well it's probably not an equip card otherwise you would have gotten rid of my card already right uh-huh uh-huh yeah i guess I unless guess, of course you're guess we'll have to card. see i'm gonna attack you directly and now you have a choice you do have a kite okay. roid, but remember, this is where Duel Link separates itself from regular TCG. You have a skill, Destiny Draw. If you can tactically work your way around losing 2,000 life points, then you yeah. can pick any card that you want. So you have to decide whether, do I want to take this 1,800, and then maybe the turn after next, I can use my Destiny Draw, or do I want to just protect myself? Okay, in Destiny Draw, though, his his special effect, I have to take 2,000 in one shot, right? No, not, not one in turn. one shot, just in, in the whole duel. So, like, if I do 1,000 oh. now and then I do another 1,000 five turns from now, you can use yeah. Destiny Draw. I think, I, I mean, I think it makes sense to use Kite Roid now just because I'm going to be down to 2,200 life points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's up, it's up to you. It's up to you. I'm going to do it. Okay, gonna, that's your I'm call. I'm going to send him out there and... Because you take me out of 2200 and I can't use Destiny Draw because you're not going to be doing any additional on, damage after this. Before you use that additional effect, so that's his secondary effect. So you've already, you, you're negating the damage for this attack. Yes. That second one is if, just basically, you're going to click off of that. Because that's okay, his secondary second. effect where he can do the same thing in the graveyard. Okay, so you okay. saved yourself so from you those could damage. You twice. Yeah, Got yeah, it. exactly. Okay. So he has two protection. That's what makes him... That's what gives him the edge over Karibo in the meta right now. I believe in the heart of the cards and was let down. Oh, uh, man, another DNA surgery. That's tough. But again, I'm playing you as if I don't know. But so exactly. go ahead and play that face I'm down. I'm going to set it. Yep. Okay. Uh, and really, it's just going to kind of be uh, end my turn. <laughs> <laughs> See, and this, is, this situation can happen sometimes. Not every, you know, yeah. you're not going to get the perfect thing every time. So I'm going to activate this equip spell. 
Okay. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. So it's a trash That's equipped spell. Another old card. You've got to be kidding me. The beauty of this is once it's equipped to my gear free, go ahead and back out of that blast with or yeah, your just... uh, DNA surgery thing. Okay. So you're going to hit me with that. Okay. Which Does one are you going to choose to destroy? The beauty is I don't know how to break this to you, but I could actually destroy both. Nanny? Because when what? Blast with <laughs> Chain is destroyed, then it also has a separate effect not related to my card where it gets to destroy Son a back room. But Son of a gun. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, for the sake of training. No. For the sake of Ooh. training, we're going to let you keep that DNA surgery. I got to read things over. My, my literacy rates are going down. Oh, boy. All right. And I'll tell you what, just 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 to um, just to show the skill off. I know you have a kite roid, but yeah. I'm about to hit you with a lot of damage and I need you to let okay. it happen. Yeah, no, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is going to be. Oh, you already realized fusion ink. Yep. Ugh. Yep. It's time. We're going to bring out the big boy. <laughs> my life points. We're going to bring out the All big right. boy. I'm not going to DNA surgery. I mean, DNA surgery at this point doesn't mean much when yeah, you're playing against I, a dragon deck. Yeah, but... I already have dragons, so. though. Do you think I think we shouldn't even throw some DNA surgeries in there and just uh, build it, a it deck? Just, it, it just depends. You could try without it, but... Oh, oh you mean specifically for this duel. Yeah, because... Specifically for the win. Yeah, uh, yeah, the yeah. Tournament. But again, they could be watching right now. They're not saying anything in chat. They could just be quietly watching, and they're like... Hmm. Yeah, yeah and, the, and then they're going to be like, oh, they're not... You know, they're not using DNA surgery. I guess we just won't play dragons. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true too. Okay. So we got to make... the day of the tournament, we bait them with some uh, some lightning vortexes or some other yep. shenanigans. Yep, exactly. All right, so go okay. ahead and uh, let cancel go that. Yeah. Let it go through. If you want, I guess you could just activate DNA surgery. I mean, you, I, I already oh, know yeah, that you have one now, right? Up. So the if you activate it, sure. it'll stop yeah. asking. Exactly. <laughs> Did you think I was going to turn your dragon into a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I'm two dragons now? So go ahead and let that rock. Let let Kite Roy just say no to Kite Roy. Okay, all right. We'll just take this straight in the chin. And now you'll see when I end my turn, when it's time to draw a phase, don't draw. Okay. You'll have an Use activate skill. Might. Yami's just arguing with himself. At the no. top right. And then you can definitely activate. draw. All right, and then this is where, like, even if I genuinely tried from this point, yeah. I think I think I'm, I'm done though. All right, so what I would do is I would get that Buster Whelp. So okay. the little the little tuner guy. Oh, it's because normal summon, you can have one destruction. So, okay, let's go straight from there. Okay. The reason why is, again, it's another like milling. Uh, it's another way to mill out your deck because instead of just getting the fusion card you need, now you play a monster and then the monster grabs the fusion card. So you're milling your deck out more. The heart of the cards, son of a gun. Wow, I, can't I got this just happened. what I needed. Whoa. All right, well, I only have one move. Okay. That's going to be summoning this guy. In attack um, mode. In attack mode. And then it's going to ask if you want to activate you, the effect. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yes, please. And you have two Buster Bladers in your hand. Yeah, you're you're, you're set. So oh. get, go ahead and grab one of those bad boys. Okay. So the beauty of oh, that okay. card is if, like any dragons on my side of the field, they can be used as that dragon criteria for your... Oh, wait, really? Yeah. So now go ahead and play that. Oh, I just want to look at the uh, the extra check real quick because I don't think I fully... Understand. Wow. Plus one any... Oh, wow. Any dragon type. So that's why it's so good against dragons is because any monster on my side of the field, oh, especially with DNA surgery, it becomes a target for you. Now, and since this is a... Uh, technically, there's a summon, so they're getting attributed. If you had a card that says cannot target... This doesn't matter because I'm not targeting it per se, right? Yeah, it's I'm not targeting. You're some... distributing it. Okay. Yep. That's where, like you were saying before, like the reading in Yu-Gi-Oh, like it's simple, but you also have to like squint your eyes and like make sure you're not missing any words at yeah. all. Because if it says target, then I can negate it. But since it doesn't, you can go ahead and use me as a target. So go ahead and click that and then Buster Blader. And then my card's gone. Wow. And then this guy's terrifying call. because yeah. look at your attack points. And he does piercing damage. So one, go ahead and attack my face down card and just reap the benefits. 4,800. Okay, I just got to read. Most be future summon copies, special summon on other ways. Card cannot attack directly. Uh, this card gains 1,000 attack defense for each dragon type monster your opponent controls or is in the graveyard. That's why you're Change so dragon beefy type. right now. Oh, oh and before you do that, oh. another, just, just so you can see it. If you click the, uh, the three lines, the three bars right next to your main phase. Yes. Just go ahead and click those. You can actually change your view. So if you click uh, right oh, now, you're on player view. view. If you do top down and then click the back button, it gives oh, you a different view. Oh, it's so much view. nicer. Yeah, okay. yeah. So it's like, it, it just depends on your preference. So that's an easier way to look at everything on the field. All right, so just no, go I ahead, like it. attack my phase down card and just watch what Wait, happens. What if you got, what if you got man in your bug? <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't matter. I, just watch. <laughs> oh, you're still taking the period. 
damage, yeah. It's piercing damage. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> ah! <laughs>